Certain stories are incredibly outrageous that they seem almost too incredible to be true. Yet, as the story of the day demonstrates, reality can frequently surpass even the most imaginative fiction. And when a story starts with Florida Man, you just know you're going to be in for a wild ride. Today's story is definitely that. It's one of the wildest, bravest things we have heard in a long time. Come with us to find out how one bear found himself drowning and what a Florida man did that saved the day. Animal lovers enjoy nothing more than a feel-good story about someone who cared for an animal in distress. There are often small animals that need our help, but when it's a massive creature, one who is normally very capable of taking care of itself, then the story gets another added layer of incredible. Today's story is all about a massive black. The stunning animal weighed around 400 pounds or 180 kilograms and was about six and a half feet tall or two meters. Not really the type of animal that first springs to mind when you think of an animal that could need your help. But in this story, the beautiful bear was in grave danger and if it wasn't for the help of one brave man, he would have certainly died. Bears have an incredible sense of smell and a mighty appetite. That's why campers in the wilds where bears live are often warned that they need to keep their food and their garbage secure when they go camping. Or they might just get a visit from a very hungry and very dangerous animal. Bears don't go out of their way to interact with humans, but as we destroy their natural habitats, wild bears start to move closer to the same areas where people live. And since people's homes are often jam-packed full of things that smell delicious and are enticing to a bear, these bears decide to wander into these areas in the hope of finding a snack. Some bears even lose their fear of humans completely, and this can cause disaster if they insist on coming back to a residential area often. This is why wildlife authorities work quickly to relocate wandering bears back to where they came from. They don't want bears to become too comfortable or used to hanging around human areas. One day, residents of Alligator Point, Florida, noticed a massive black bear wandering the streets in search of food. He wasn't looking for trouble, just for snacks, and he had probably lost his way from Osceola National Forest near Lake City. He was lost and he was hungry, and he did what any intelligent bear would try to do. He looked for food. He was seen sniffing through people's garbage trying to mind his own business. He wasn't doing any damage yet, but wildlife authorities knew that they had to get him sedated and back home. You might wonder why they couldn't just wait for the bear to make his way back out of the residential area and back home in the same way that he had gotten there. That would be for the safety of the humans that are living in the area and for the safety of the bear. Just imagine how it felt from the bear's perspective. You stumbled into an area that seemed like a dream come true. Loads of yummy snacks to steal. You only need to rip open a couple of bags and you don't even need to go hunting. There aren't a lot of other bears that are trying to steal your food and your turf, and you don't need to constantly protect yourself. Why would you ever want to leave this cozy situation? It seemed ideal for the bear. The problem is that the longer he stayed in the quiet little neighborhood, the more likely he was to encounter humans and possibly even injure someone. People had to think of the safety of the neighborhood and children that could be playing in the streets. The bear had to be evicted and sent back home, Luckily, the bear had not yet formed a habit of coming back to the same area, and wildlife authorities would be able to dart him, get him nice and sleepy, and then move him back home, or at least that's what was supposed to happen. Working with wild animals always comes with risks. They don't react in the way that you would like them to, and they can completely surprise you, and that is for sure what the bear did. The rescue team followed the bear from a distance, and then when he was in a spot where they could safely pick him up, they shot him with a dart. They expected him to become drowsy and fall asleep. But darts don't always work instantly. Adrenaline can allow an animal to stay awake for slightly longer than they are expected to, and during that time things can go seriously wrong. This is one case of that happening. Luckily, drastic mistakes don't often happen, and it's still one of the most humane ways that rescue teams have to work with wild animals. But there is room for error, and during this rescue, Everything seemed to combine to create a possible tragedy. The bear was having a great day just wandering along when the humans came around and shot him with a dart. Instead of falling where he was, it gave him a massive fright enough to get the adrenaline pumping and to allow him to bolt. He ran to get away from the people who were chasing him. The poor bear was already starting to feel woozy, 
and he just knew he had to get away from the perceived danger that the humans posed. He knew just where to get away from them, straight into the Gulf of Mexico. Bears are strong swimmers, and despite their hefty bodies, water is often their happy place. It made sense that the bear would think that this could be a place where he would be safe. The only problem is that the dart was starting to take effect. He might have been able to get away in normal circumstances, but if he passed out while in deep water, he would just drown. The rescuers were horrified. It seemed like they were going to have to watch as a bear that they were only trying to help would drown, and it would be their fault. The bear was just awake enough to pose a serious risk, and for seconds, everyone seemed to be at a loss about what to do. Everyone except for one man that is biologist, Adam Morwick, just knew that he wasn't going to stand by and watch the bear drown. He didn't give himself time to think. A good move since rational thinking would just have made him realize how crazy his next steps would be. He pulled off his shirt and shoes and jumped in after the bear. He knew he had to go and get him. Getting that close to the bear was very risky. In his panic, he could have easily killed Adam. But the bear allowed him to put his arm around his neck and start to pull him back to shore. This is a massive animal, and under normal circumstances, Adam would never have gotten this close and would never have been able to pull his weight, but the adrenaline was pumping and the water helped to carry the bear's giant weight. There were a few scary moments when the bear tried to climb on top of Adam to stop himself from drowning, but luckily Adam managed to get the giant animal back under control and pull him toward the shallow water. Adam cut his feet on some of the barnacles at the bottom of the river, but the bear didn't harm him. In the pictures, he seems like a lifeguard saving a tired swimmer. Only the swimmer is a massive bear. As he drew close to shore, Adam grew tired and the bear was starting to become too heavy to carry on his own, but that is when some of his colleagues stepped in. They'd all helped to get the bear close to shore, and with the help of a tractor bucket, they picked him up and placed him in the transportation vehicle that would take him home. By the time Adam had finished rescuing the bear, he had become too emotionally invested to simply abandon the exhausted animal. He accompanied the bear to the National Forest, where he personally witnessed the creature awakening and happily returning to the wild. Adam was pleased to see the bear safe and content, and he hoped that the experience had frightened it enough to avoid human inhabited areas in the future. What are your thoughts on Adam's decision to jump in after the bear? Was it a brave act or an insane one? Thank you for watching today's video with us. We hope you enjoyed the heartwarming story. Please join us again next time for more inspiring tales.